Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Wanted to talk to you about uh, debuffs. Making tough choices. I got a really tough choice here. If you're choosing to coin this event, this is the best pack, the event pack. There is no flexible specialty. That is the only other pack that is worth spending on, really, at most times. Don't buy the ideal land pack. Buy this pack. Get Senate buffs, seal buffs, and uh, treasure scrolls, sieve scrolls, that sort of stuff, forge certificates. That's the things that you want. The jack of all trades pack. Spend responsibly only as much as you can. Use the promo code floating above us right now at the top of the screen and get more value for your money with Aptoid. It sucks, but uh, I think it's something that has to be done. So when you're looking at debuffs and the ch tough choice I have to make, it might be an offense defense thing. So I might be able to keep the one general for offense but defensively and even situationally offensively it might just be in my best interest to uh move on from this general and uh premium generals as uh debuff generals are kind of the way to go so let me show you what i'm talking about here and look at my sub generals like they're pretty highly uh starred and the really premium ones are fully spec or almost right to the orange level some are gold but uh it's hard to get them all to gold i think i got a couple gold let's see do i have one uh he's purple right there purple so it looks like they're all kind of orange but this is the one that i have to make a tough choice on it sucks because i love cc and i think for some people i think for smaller players uh lower coiners cc is a must i th really think she's important she debuffs uh, only 15% to all troops. You can see at the top here, reduce enemy troop defense by 15%. And then it's a bunch of horse and ground stuff. So that's good offensively, right? Like if I'm going to send archers at somebody, I want that. She's debuffing the ground, which will attack my archers, and the mounted troops, which I'm trying to kill. So that's good. But I'm 50 billion. Ground and uh horse aren't attacking me till i'm dead so defensively like uh i'll show you a, a couple battle reports or at least one so we'll move down here a bit let's see uh this one is this one on me yeah nope that's not it let's go back a little bit more so ever sold i'm 13 billion there let's get to a point where 35 billion okay so Eversol hit me here, and I'm 40 billion, and I'm doing really good, really good on the power uh, swap there. But look, he's hitting me with 4,000 siege, 3,3100 on defense and HP. So I got to debuff that. No one's sending ground at me, and you want to stay alive longer. So you want your debuffs to work with your uh, keep at its maximum troop capacity. So you look here and my defense uh, 720, Siege, HP 587. Usually it's a bit higher. Um, not sure what's happening here. Usually it's about 900 HP and about 1,000 defense. Sometimes things just happen in Battlefield and no one really understands the, the debuffs, how they totally work. We'll look at one more here and see where they are a bit higher. They're even lower there, 520. Was that even me? No, that was reinforcing a teammate. So look at this one, 1. 1.4. Yeah, so 720, 587. Not really sure why, because uh, for a while they were pushing 1,000. Anyways, I have an opportunity to increase that. But it's a really hard choice because CC's 10 star. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to... I'm not, not going to remove her. I got to keep her because... This stupid thing, right? Victory column. In order to upgrade, I'm at level 9. i got to get to level 10. And I'm going to need 18 fully starred generals. So I'm going to keep CC. Plus, Ebony has showed us. Don't ever delete anybody. Because they'll, they'll, they'll add something to the game where you need it. And you'll, like right now, i got lots of covenants where it's like, man, I used to have that guy all the time. And now I can't find him in the tavern. So keep your generals. I'd love to have the blood from CC and put her elsewhere. But I think I'm just going to make an extra set of gear and keep CC sometimes and then swap her out for 
I've been lucky in this one event. I spent nothing on it, and I won two times. I got Yan Carroll. And what's Yan Carroll do for me? So if we go over here, oops, don't want to refresh. That's 50 gems. So if we go into Europe and we look for Yan Carroll down here, he is a siege master. And I think it's really important that I add him to my repertoire right here, Yan Carroll. So 10% troop attack. That's always good. Right here, though, 35 mount attack, 20 siege, 20 siege. So that's 20 right there. And on his main skill, reduce mount, 25. Enemy siege, defense, and HP, 30. So just that alone, I'm not going to get to the maximum 20, so it's probably going to be like 16. So 16 plus 30, that's going to be 46. I'm going to be able to ascend him 10% to, to the 10% troop defense, 6 stars. So I'm basically going to get, when I eventually max him out, 50 and 60 HP and defense, offense and defense. And I do a lot of solo siege attacks. So this is something that uh, I'd be foolish not to make this swap. So I'm going to choose a 6-star premium general over a 10-star. But I'm going to keep the 10-star. But these are the tough choices you have to make. So if we look over at my sub-generals, like Jackson Jackson, our archer, CC's horse and mount. I got three Gigameshes. They are all siege. I got Nordic Barbarian King. He kind of does a lot, but, you know, to be honest, he's kind of on my thought process too. Like, do I really like him that much? I do, but would I rather have another Yan or another Gilgamesh? I can get him up one more level too, so another 25, so it's full troops. So Barbarian's pretty good. Mark Antony, Archer. Zika. He's a range specialist. And basically, like, I get rallied like 20 times more. And all the attacks are always range and siege. So Amir, he's not on anything right now. I, I've got rid of him. I just, it sucks. But I had to make that tough choice before. Darius, these would be perfect generals for a smaller player because people are hitting you with ground early or mount early so there are people that you might want but unfortunately i i uh you know i i never in my wildest dreams thought i would have this many gilgameshes or zilka Z zizka or yan carol so i got lucky and i got them and now i have to make tough choices and it looks like I'm going to be making that choice and I'm going to ascend him the one star to get, make him six stars. But uh, it's uh, this game is all about staying alive and especially like I'm going to be in all stars and I'm going to get rallied with Siege for sure really early. Someone's going to send archers at me and they're probably going to take five, six billion off me with one hit. But hopefully I kill that much in the rally and uh, then they're just going to start sieging me. Because I have a lot of Siege. That's another thing you have to look at too. So actually, it'll be better if I just go to my actual Siege machines. Right. And show you what I have. So if we go up top, I got 0. 10 million. 12 million. But then I really start to get into it. 83. And then 40. 45. 48. 45. And then I'm going to start filling those in. Making them a little thicker. But... Look, uh, so I'm going to be on a, uh, I think it's the C5 battle mechanics this Sunday, so tune in. And I have a little bit of a different opinion on defense than some people. And I know a lot of people like to give advice from big keeps to small keeps, but I'm going to give advice from big keeps to big keeps and talk about the importance of Siege and the debuffs. And uh, I got some differing opinions. I also do have lots of advice for smaller keeps. Uh, I don't, you know, I have a big keep, but I was a smaller player for a long time on a different server. So I do understand where they're coming from. So hopefully I can give some advice that, uh, people can relate to. And, uh, that's about it. So anyways, let me know what you guys are doing with your debuffs. Do you ever have to make these type of choices? I see lots of people that, uh, 
ask for help. I help them out and I'll see tons of stuff. Like people love a mirror and it's like, but you're 20 billion. Why you got a mirror? There's really no reason to have him. Like he's the type of guy, he's only good if you have him at nine or 10 stars and I can't get the fragments to get him there. So he's just sitting there and, uh, probably one of those guys. I just don't have it in my heart to turn him into blood of Aries and cut him. But, uh, We'll see. I might have to make that choice soon because uh, Blood of Aries is something that you need for everything, right? Every building. Anyways, let me know what you guys are doing with your debuffs. Do you take? Do you make those tough choices? Do you have a long-term outlook for them? And uh, sometimes opportunity just arises and it forces your hand. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.